गेट रेडी फॉर डिक्टेशन स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन सर आई थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग परमिटेड मी टू स्पीक द बजट प्रजेंटेड बाय अवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया इज ए मिक्सड वन विच डिजर्व बोथ एप्रिसिएशन एंड क्रिटिसिजम बींग द मेडन बजट प्रजेंटेड बाय अवर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ही कैन बी एक्ूज दिस टाइम विद द होप डैट ही विल प्रजेंट ए प्लेजेंट बजट एट लीस्ट नेक्स्ट टाइम प्रोवाइडेड he continues to hold the finance portfolio it is worthwhile to take into account the comments made by various people belonging to various sections the chamber of commerce people believe that instead of giving relief to corporate sector government has taxed 30% minimum tax which will hamper the growth of the corporate sector this would offset the liberalization on depreciation allowance and would create a serious impact on the share market the tv is no longer a luxury item and is a media for propagating government policies and programs and it is a media to educate the illiterates who form a major part of the population of our country hence the price rises unjustified and unimaginable the salaried people are the honest tax payers in this country they are expected a higher ceiling limit for tax eligibility but no mention has been made this has totally disappointed them of every rupee that accrues to the central tax check according to 1987 88 budget proposals for paise only come through income tax in this budget it is worth to praise that housing and education have been given a boost this will create a motivation among middle class and upper class to have their own shelter it is a legitimate duty of the government to provide such shelter in that case our prime minister has made a sincere effort in this budget i welcome this wholeheartedly in the name of preservation of forest wealth 35% duty will be levied on plywoods made from prime timber and wood products it is not logical as on one side you want to encourage housing and on the other side wood and its products would become costlier by this levy this will cause a further hike in the cost of building construction i feel this is penny wise pound foolish but our honorable prime minister has made a humble plea that he invites suggestions from members and other conservationists he should therefore revise his opinion 
on taxing wood products stop para more allocation to education is a welcoming measure which can turn our illiterate masses into literates and increase our literacy rate so that the people can judge things well and they cast their votes properly without being carried away by the sympathy waves excise duty on accredited soft drinks and soda being 20 paise and 15 paise per bottle is unwarranted soda is not used for mixing up with hot drinks alone by affluent sections but also used by the poor and middle class people to quench their thirst even the politician while speaking on the platforms drinks soda but he does not pay for that the organizers of the meeting only pay so it has become an additional burden for the people of the lower rank of the party who form the rank and file of the organization hence it is unjustified to increase the excise duty on soda and soft drinks i will appreciate the honorable prime minister if he puts excise duty up to 30 to 40% on hot drinks so that the people can be relieved from the clutches of the devil of drinking habits and also the ex checker gets more money stop para though snuffing and chewing tobacco is really harmful to health people in the rural areas forgo their food while at work and also when they are not able to take one square meal a day indulge in chewing tobacco and snuffing so increasing excise duty on these substances is going to hit the common man and not the richer people hence i request the honorable prime minister to withdraw the excise duty imposed on tobacco and snuff it is regrettable that our honorable prime minister has forgotten the 40000 sick units in the small scale sector neither he has made an honest attempt to nurse them back to health from sickness nor has he made any provision in the budget presented hence i request the honorable prime minister to take into account the problems faced by the sick units in the small scale industries it is unfortunate that the honorable prime minister has not encouraged the banking industry which has a major role in the national development like tax incentives to facilitate mobilization of the savings while creation of a national housing development finance bank is 
appreciable nationalized banks should be made to involve in these activities with a due caution not to allow favoritism or ruling political parties interference there are certain features present in the budget to be praised and applauded one is that any compensation received by a workman at the time of his retirement is exempted from tax stop 